Hi, this is Gordon with Maximum PC Magazine. We're still at CES 2013. I'm at Gigabyte Suite at the Venetian looking at a couple cool boards. This is an, a GA H77TN board. For people who aren't familiar with it, this is actually using Intel's new thin mini ITX form factor. It's much thinner than a standard ITX board. Has a fixed processor location. Uses SODIMS. Um, we have basically a power jack and, interestingly, a uh, onboard header if you want to run it off 12 volt. There's actually two of these boards. Uh, this other board actually uses the B75 chipset which has some small business advantage stuff we don't care about really. The reason there's thin mini ITX is it goes into these chassis. This is an all-in-one system. It's a MITAC chassis. You can get it for about under $400. Then you go out and you buy your thin mini ITX motherboard. In fact, this month we did a full build it, how to build an all-in-one system. This one actually doesn't use the stock Intel cooler. It uses uh, the cooler that actually comes with the MITAC system. About 400 bucks for the chassis board. You know, you're going to guess about 100 something. Whatever process you want to put in there, whatever sodiums you want to put in. So you build it yourself and the monitor itself is also, just to show you, it is I mean the chassis is touch, so it's a full Windows 8 capacitive touch system.